His only daughter is dead, killed when her house collapsed in the earthquake. He hopes he can find his grandson, but Chen Yugui doesn't even know where to look. He's 88 years old and has no one to care for him. He lives in tent number 50 in a crowded camp near Legu, along with six other elderly men and women, each of them lost or were abandoned by their grown children. 78-year-old Jin Tu Xu has three sons and three daughters. All of them survived the earthquake, but left her behind when they fled their village. She hasn't seen or heard from them since. The youngest of the bunch are Chen Fu Ting and his wife, Tu Fan. They are in their 60s. Their daughter lives nearby, and together they look after the others. Some of the kids have forgotten their parents, he says. To some kids, parents are important, and to some, they are not. Well, the earthquake orphaned about 2,000 children, about 10 times that many Chinese senior citizens lost their families. People from all over the country want to adopt babies, but hardly anyone's offering to take in the elderly. The Chinese revere their elders. To be called grandfather or grandmother is an honor. The government says it will provide for all of the elderly made homeless by the earthquake, give them food, clothing and shelter. But in the rural mountain villages hit hardest, nothing can replace the importance of family. David Hawkins, Al Jazeera, Legu, China.